guys welcome to today's video and to my channel vinyl beauty i'm debbie and if you've not been here before this channel is all about getting creative with makeup whatever your age so i'm 53 i'm from the uk and as i say my channel's not focused on reviewing new makeup anymore i used to do quite a lot of that i'll do the odd review here and there but it's more about using the makeup that you've got and just getting creative and having some fun with it. We've all got loads of palettes in our collection, let's get some use out of them. So if that sounds like something that would be interesting to you, I'd love to have you subscribed. But without further ado, let's get on to what we're gonna do in today's video. I'm gonna be doing a bit of a get ready with me, not done one of those for a long time, just catch you up with what's been going on in my life a little bit. And we're also gonna be doing a very summery look today. So I'm going to be using the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Palette. This one's been in my palette pile of shame for the longest time. I've had it probably two years and not used it. So today's the day because it's a beautiful sunny day in the UK today. It's like 22 degrees. It's not any whisper of wind at all. It's just still and gorgeous and sunny. My perfect kind of day. And I just didn't want to do a fall inspired look and there's so many of those on YouTube at the moment. So I thought let's hang on to summer for a little bit and, and do a summery look. So hope you're going to enjoy seeing that. And this is the palette of course if you're not familiar with it. It's the perfect one to do a really bright summery look with. So that's what we're going to do in this video. I've already done my base makeup and my brows but we're going to do cheeks and eyes and lips together. So without further ado I'll scoot you in and we'll get started. So we're going to start with a palette that's really not very summery at all and it's this one, it's my Lunatic Cosmetics Labs contour book which I use all the time behind the scenes, this is one of my favourite possessions in makeup, couldn't live without this but I'm going to do my contour as I usually do, I dip into this one, this one and this one this is where you can see there's quite a lot of dirt on that one and that's how I do my contour and I use the FO4 Extreme Structure Contour brush most often to do it and it's by Sigma and I just find this just gives me that little bit of definition so keep it a little bit lower than my cheekbones but yeah it's the perfect shade for me if I mix those three together so guys how have you been? I think it's probably been a month since I filmed to get ready with me I've been pretty busy um, with work but also I've had a week off uh, not last week, the week before, had my father-in-law over from the Isle of Wight again, he helps us renovate our garden and we've been adding another decking area, so those of you that watch my channel will probably remember that we did a big decking area and an outside bar and a shed and everything in the summer, in June, and now we've done a, a second kind of area, which is gonna be my little zen area to sit and read a book and just chill out. So got a border on there and a water feature and it's come out so nice. So, so yeah, that's what we've been doing. We've been really busy and while I've got family here, I don't like to film really. So but yeah, I'm super excited to be back to, to makeup again. I've got a bit more interest in it again at the moment. So, so yeah, that's what we're doing. For blush today, I'm going to go in with this one, I love this, this is the uh, blush from Colourpop that came with the Sailor Moon collection and this one is Cat's Eye and you could never get a more summery colour than this one, it's gorgeous, I love these corally pinky sort of blushes. So as I'm filming this, it's the 18th of September and it's just never this nice in the UK, In well I suppose September does turn up nice because it kind of like settles a little bit you know you don't get all the wind and it's not as muggy as it is and humid as it is in in um august but but yeah this is particularly nice weather at the moment so once i've finished filming this i've got a couple of little trees to plant and some pots in the front garden and then my husband's at work at the moment and when he gets back the outside bar will be open and cocktails will be flowing. <laughs> That's what we like to do on a Saturday, kind of late afternoon into evening. So I'm making sure I've got plenty of this on because I'm not really using bronzer. I want that sun-kissed kind of almost sunburnt kind of look. I love that. A little bit on the nose as well. That's always cute. In other news, I actually went out last night, which I haven't done since the pandemic started really. So 
we went to the pub and we met up with my husband's work colleagues. He's been in this job for six months and I'd not really met any of them. And they brought the wives along as well and they were a super bunch, had a, a really nice time. We did a kind of a bit of a pub crawl. We started in one pub just all outside and then we walked to the second one, it's about a mile away, having a chat on the way. And it was just a super chill evening and it just was nice to see things almost back to normal. Like just sitting in a pub without a mask on, chatting to people you'd never met before. It just, it almost felt a bit weird but it felt really good as well so I had a brilliant time and the makeup that I wore for that I posted a picture on my Instagram if you want to see what it looked like but I just wore something fairly neutral and green. For highlight today we're going to go in with Solar Sailor from Kaleidos. I was thinking what's my most sunniest kind of happiest highlighter and I love the yellow gold tones of this one. It's just got that magical sort of sparkle in it and I love this one. As I say it's almost gold really and it's not the right colour for my skin tone but I don't really care I just love how it looks so I'll we'll put a fair bit of that on because it's really going to catch the light once I'm sitting outside it's one of those just beautiful I don't think they make this one anymore I might be wrong but I don't think they do I've not really kept up with as I say any new releases although there are lots of things coming to tempt me I really want to get the new Odin's Eye collab collection because one of the palettes is in collaboration with my friend Annette so I want to support her and I will be able to pick that up because I couldn't get the collab she did with Menagerie because they don't dispatch to the UK but I'll be able to get from Odin's Eye so I will be getting that and the other one I'm really interested in is the Nomad Cosmetics one which I don't know what it's going to be called whilst I'm filming this but they've been revealing a few shades and it's right up my street for kind of Halloween looks so I'll be picking that up. Uh, there's a new Pat McGrath coming for Christmas. Uh, it's one of the celestial ones that they did like from last Christmas. Oh, that interests me. Yeah, I've not bought anything and now I want everything. <laughs> I'm going to try my very best not to buy any more than those three things though. Right, need to prime my eyes now. I'm just going to go in with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm going to be doing an all matte look today as well. I do quite like all matte looks and I don't do them very often. The only thing I find is getting the opacity right on my lid. Like where it sort of goes into like the creases, making sure that, that I've got enough pigment there to kind of, yeah, make it opaque. Okay, I've kind of got a plan for this palette. Don't know if it's going to work, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to do orange and purple in my crease and yellow and green on my lid and then just a purple lower lash line so it might be fun because I don't want to do a cut crease I'm going to try and blend these colors see how it goes so the orange is called radon we're going to start with that I'm going to start on the inner part of my crease with that oh quite like that that's a pretty shade it's not too crazy neon, which is good actually. But it's definitely got sunny vibes and it's a pretty shade. Whilst I'm doing that, it's gonna take me a little while to build that up on both eyes. Just talk about some of the things that we got up to. So while his dad was with us, we worked quite hard on the garden, but we did some nice things as well. We had a couple of barbecues, which again, September to be able to barbecue outside it was lovely. And then his dad loves to go antique hunting and we do as well and there's a an antique shop in the next town to us and it's called Vintage Retreat and it has all different departments so different um, sellers selling their antiques and all under one roof and then there's a, a cafe but it's very retro the way it's all been done but I love it because they have vintage vinyl so that's why I wanted to go but he's dad will literally buy anything like old kind of I don't know he bought a fire engine that's a remote control there um, and he bought some jigsaws and he buys all sorts but I wasn't looking for it and I found this beautiful ornament it's a giraffe and it's by a Russian uh, porcelain company USSR Lomonosov, Lomonosov, something like that. I'll put a picture up of the of the ornament, but oh, it just 
like spoke to me and as we walk around as I say there's lots of different departments lots of, of various things that you can look at there but we kind of gone away from it and I just kept thinking about it and it was 60 pounds it's quite a lot for like a little china ornament but then when I looked it up they are really expensive online so it was worth it but my husband's like you really want it just get it like you'd spend it on a makeup palette but you wouldn't spend it on something that you know you're going to keep forever in the house so he's right so just wanted to tell you about that because it's something I've definitely discovered that since I've not been buying everything and anything with makeup how many things I've been able to to treat myself to that that you know that I'll have forever like makeup expires and or it goes out of style or you just get fed up of that particular palette or whatever but the things I've bought for my home I tend to like keep for a long long time and I get a lot of joy out of right this is where things might get a little bit tricky I'm going to go in with the purple or the shade uranium the lighter one and then try and fade it into the dark one I think blending those together won't really happen I'm just gonna just have them where they touch but I don't know what anyone was moaning about with this palette, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know why I took so long to use it. People seem to have a bit of a downer on some of Melt's palettes and then they love other ones. I've never had a problem with any of them. Or well, not the ones I've got, and I've got quite a lot. Perhaps I'll have to do a, a ranking my Melt palettes, but I've got another one that I've not used yet as well, which is the 420 palette. So again, that I kind of got put off of it because nobody seemed to be very fond of that palette but I think it's a great one for autumnal looks so I will be using it at some point. Alright. Where those two are meeting they're not blending too badly actually I thought it would look worse than it is. I want to try and get a sort of wing shape going on here so I'm going to go in with Hazmat next. Then on that same day that we we got the ornament and went to the, the antique shop. They didn't have any vinyl. I'm collecting Barbra Streisand vinyl, if you're new here. And I've been obsessed with trying to find them, most of which I've bought online. I've got a lot now. I've got, I'm getting on for 20 albums, I think, but there's over 50. And some of them are really difficult to find and some are a bit easier. But they didn't have any at all in Vintage Retreat. So I was super disappointed because I was like wanting to get something. But we've got another shop that's brilliant for vinyl in the town called Spun Out. And he's got in the sort of back part of his shop six or seven tubs of vinyl that's not in any sort of order whatsoever. And it's just a treasure trove of stuff you just don't know what he's going to have in. So, husband and father-in-law were waiting outside the shop, so I had no time to go through it all. And they were like, oh, really, do we have to wait for you while he looks through it? So I was under pressure, but I asked the guy if he's got any bar, and he said, we've had a whole collection brought in. I said, I think I've got about 12, but he said, I don't know where we've put them, you'll just have to have a hunt through. And seven of them I'd already got, but I bought the other four five that he had so and they're like one of them's still in the shrink wrapping but it's an album that came out in the 70s and it's like just mint condition but for the five I bought he only charged me 10 pounds so two pounds each so I was proper happy with that right I'm just gonna fill in a little bit on my lid space and kind of just like try and blend that darker purple hazma into the uranium shade. Might need a bit more of a blending brush but I don't want things to go too crazy. So this is why I'm using the E36. I've been loving not taking my eyeshadow up quite as high as this. Like I did a kind of 60s Barbara inspired look for my previous video and just kept everything pretty low down and in my crease and I really liked how it looked so but today, I thought, I want to use so many colours, I'm going to need to use a bit more of my eye space to achieve it. No, I think that's looking okay. It's going to take a little bit of time just to build up the pigment, but... I think I'm alright. I'm not going to do wing liner today, I don't think, so... Almost this is my wing as such. So I might just tail it out just a little bit more. Just 
flicking it just slightly just to give it a bit more cat eye shape. Beautiful purple, so they're coming off a bit lighter than they look in the pan, but that's okay. Now, I wasn't going to do a cut crease, but I think because I've got so much on my lids, I might have to. And I've not done a concealer cut crease in a long time, so this could be fun. So I'm just going to use my Conceal and Hydrate Concealer and my cut crease brush from Sigma. Whenever I do anything sort of cut creasy these days, I always use NYX Glitter Primer. So I've gotten out of practice doing the traditional cut crease. It'd be good to have a go again, actually. Oh, it's not turning out too bad. I want to cut the front bit here. And then I'm just going to tap it out where it meets that purple. Obviously, I can't really cut my crease with NYX Glitter Primer if I'm going to do an all matte look, so I've got to do it this way. So this brush does a lot of the work. You can just basically place the brush. I just like to do it slightly higher than my natural crease, particularly at the front, just to give me that bit of room. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Right, so this area that I've created here, we're going to use the, the yellow, so the neon shade here, and then I'm going to fade it into that green as it goes towards the purple. The green is called Xenon. So I've got a really small packing brush, and I think it's going to take me a little while to get that pigment built up. looks ended up a bit more pastel than I thought it would do. Maybe that's why people didn't like the palette, it's perhaps not as vibrant as they thought, I don't know. can't remember now from the videos that I watched. As I say, it's a discontinued palette and it's quite old now. That's looking quite nice. So are you guys looking forward to the fall season and to the new holiday releases and Halloween makeup looks? I do get very excited and very inspired at that time of year. Can't wait to bust out some palettes that I bought in the Black Friday sales last year but that are a bit more of that grungy, gothy Halloween kind of vibe. I've got the... Peachy Queen Spirit Ball palette. I really want to play with that. And also, the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld. I've only used that once and I think that'd be perfect for Halloween looks as well. And then the Melt Waiting Room palette. I've got so many that I want to dip back into. As I say, it just inspires me more at that time of the year. I don't know why. But I'm really liking building a look like this today. Right, I think we've got enough of the yellow, so now I want to fade it into that Xenon green shade. It does I feel out of practice because I very rarely do makeup because I've not been going to work. If I'm not leaving the house and I'm working, I just don't really see the point in doing it unless I'm filming a video and I don't always have time to to film and get all my exercising because I like to walk for two hours before work and then I don't want to do makeup after work because I'm too tired so I just don't, don't end up wearing any so then when I do makeup I'm like can I still remember what I'm doing yeah it's turning out alright I am going to be going back to work though so I might be able to mess about with my filming schedule a bit more so from the 1st of October, we're back in the office just one day a week on a Friday. Super annoyed they've chosen Friday, that's not the day I would have wanted to go in. But I thought, it's casual day at work anyway, you can wear jeans and t-shirts and whatever, so I thought I can be a bit more expressive with my makeup on that day. Not that it ever worried me what I wore to work for makeup, nobody ever said anything, but 
So I think I might film on that Friday morning because I wouldn't have time to go for a walk. And I need to wear some makeup to work to look presentable really. So I think that's what I might do. All right, just where this green and the purple are kind of meeting up. I think we need a bit more of that hazmat shade just to kind of blend them together. I think that's helping. Just a little bit of depth in that outer corner. I think the plan for us is that we go back one day a week, see how that goes. Then we go back two days, three days. I think the maximum they're going to make us do though is three days and then the rest will be at home. Like, I don't think we'll ever go back to how we used to be. Still want to flip this out a bit more. This starts off like not going to be too crazy, just going to keep everything controlled and ends up getting a lot bigger. All right, so that's it for the upper lashes. For lower lash line, I think I might go with Meltdown, this shade. I was going to go with the purple on the lower lash line, but it's not as deep as I thought, so I'm going to go with that deep green Meltdown. And I'm just going to push that close to my lashes. I like that colour. That's a good fall colour. I'll take that right into the corner, make things nice and dramatic. And now I just want to blend that just a little bit. No product on the brush, just a flexible brush just to, to soften that line a little. I said I was going to keep it all matte, but I think I'm going to use some Solar Sailor as my inner corner highlight. I think that will just help blend that all those shades together in the corner. Yeah, that definitely helps. Okay, so that's everything to this point. Just gonna hop off camera because I wanna put something in my waterline. This is Stereo from Lethal Cosmetics. Nice bright yellow in the waterline. Mascara and a lip. And I'll be back with you with the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. No liner at all on my upper lids. I've just gone for mascara. Use that yellow liner from Lethal in my waterline. It's kind of gone a bit green because it's mixed with the eyeshadow, but it looks okay. And then for lips, I've gone with the KVD Vegan Beauty liquid lipstick. And this one's in the shade Berlin. Just wanted to think coral to match the cheeks and kind of this front part of my crease here. Yeah, I really like how it turned out. I think I achieved what I set out to do in creating the last summer look of the season before I start moving on to, to fall looks. And I think it was the perfect palette to do it. It's more pastel than it appears. Like it looks really scarily bright in here. And there are some bright tones in there, but it's not as vivid as I expected. But zero fallout and pretty nice pigment to it. I enjoyed playing with it. So, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Hope it might inspire you to maybe create another summer look. Don't let the, the summer season go too soon. And if this wasn't for you and you can't wait for Halloween and whatever, then I've got lots of that kind of content coming because as I say, that's the time of year that I love to create makeup looks the most. So thank you for watching guys. If you're new to my channel and you're not yet subscribed, then please consider doing so on your way out. But other than that, I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.